I ain't gonna fix myself. What's going on, y'all? Y'all already know who it is and what it is. It's the one and the only Billionaire MH, and I'm back with another story time for y'all. <laughs> That was so fucking extra. I'm so extra. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is, what it is. It's Charles Garner, AKA Billionaire MH. And if you don't know, now you know. I don't know what I was feeling like today. I was feeling real, like, silky robe, like, oh, let me just, you know, just rolled out of bed. Uh, I woke up like this. You know, feeling like all of the things. But it's my first video of the new year. I'm so excited. I have so much planned, so much in store so much in store for you guys and yeah i just decided to open up this new year with a new story time if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe <laughs> so very <funny>, much <laughs> if you are new to my channel <laughs> If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to follow your girl and get all of my juicy updates. Before we even start, let me just point this out because it's been on my mind. Am I the only person who has like these bad eyebrow days? Okay, rewind. I'm gonna make this into like a little two dual story time. And this is a super sidebar, but it's just, you know, it was on my mind when I was doing my makeup earlier. Okay, so a few days ago for New Year's Eve, you know, I went to my, my usual eyebrow lady. I did my eyebrows threaded. So I went to my spot or whatever, mind you, it's mad packed. I pull up like, yo, what's up? Nah, so I, I pull up and my brow lady had like somebody in the chair. And so I'm like, damn, I don't wanna wait, whatever. Mind you, it's another lady who's been wanting to touch my brows for the longest. So something inside of me was telling me to wait, but you know, I was hungry, I was in a rush. <laughs> okay, miss, you can do it. <sighs> so I'm standing there, and she's threading or whatever. So first I'm kind of like twitching a little bit, cause I don't know if you guys ever got your eyebrows threaded. It doesn't hurt, but it, it kind of pinches a little bit, right? But the lady I usually go to, I don't really deal with that, you know, cause she knows what she's doing. So first I'm kind of like twitching a like, damn, like, oh, but well, you know, I you have to act like it ain't hurt, but I'm just like, damn, like, oh. So she's doing that, doing that. And then she, so after they do the threatening process, right, they usually take like these little tiny scissors and they just, you know, cut around the edges, whatever. Mind you, when I usually get it done, I never hear any snipping. I heard like snipping, like she was cutting at something. Like I was sitting there and my eyes was closed and I was cringing inside, like, yo, what are you doing? Like, and it's like out of all days, like you wanna, like New Year's Eve, you wanna look good and like, you gonna not. Yo, I was cringing, cause I was like, what are you doing, miss? Like, no, like, <sighs> she does all of that. She, you know, packs it, dry, whatever. And then she puts my chair up to look at them in the mirror. And I'm just like, like, I wanted to f***ing rip her eyes out. Like, I'm sorry, excuse my French. Like, I was really so annoyed. Like, the br you can't mess the brows up, you feel me? Like, they were so, like, uneven and, like, they look okay now because, you know, I corrected them and I did my brows. But if I take this off, like, it's just a whole nother story. I was so mad, you know, and I still paid her and I was just like, you know, thank you, no, it's all right, whatever, because I hate to be that person. I felt like I could have been that person to, like, really go in, like, because, miss, like, you know, excuse me. No, 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 you, I could have been that person and like really turned it up and all that, but I, I was like, you know what, they got clients and my home girl, she usually do it, I don't have no problem, but, yo, I'm still, I'm still low-key, man. All right, enough of that, okay? So this main story time, this, I wanna say this story time takes place around like 2006, 2007, whatever, right? This is my first time smoking weed, right? I remember it so vividly because this was around the time that Wiz Khalifa kind of came out and I was like so hooked to his music. I feel like even if you never smoked weed, like just listening to his music kind of like made you like want to try it. Like he just made like made it seem like it was so cool. Like oh you be high, da, 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 da. so 
it was just like a little phase, right, that I have. Not really a phase that I have, but that I wanted to do, you feel me? So, I was at my grandmother's house at the time, and I had found a bag of weed. Now, mind you, dumbest shit ever, never smoke weed, random shit. But I know for a fact that it was my aunt's weed because she's the only person that, like, gets high and shit like that. Um, and she's, like, always, she, you know, she was always over there. So... I had the weed or whatever, and I had found it, so I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm gonna get hot. I'm talking to myself like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to be lit. Mad fucking young and dumb. I was like 6, 16, 17. Mad stupid. So now I got the bag or whatever. I go down, I go downstairs to the store. I bought a white out. But, <laughs> cause I used to always see like my artist shit too, anyway. So, you know, I, I go downstairs, I buy a white out. I come back upstairs. I'm like, oh, I'm lit. So I come upstairs, I crack it, you know, I'm cracking it down the middle. I took a little piece off at the end. I'm just, you know, putting the thing in a plastic bag. Like, really thinking, like, hey, I was really doing something. Like, mad fucking stupid. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. I feel like my text was lit, you feel me? So, well, the niggas, you know, holla at me. You know, I could just sit up there and be pretty, roll your weed up for you. Like, here's yeah, daddy, let <laughs> Nah, so, boom. So now I have it. So now I have it, whatever. Get the lighter. Light it, I'm getting high, like, I'm just smoking, 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 smoking. I smoked the entire blunt, okay? First time ever smoking, never smoked a day in my life, and I, the, my first time, I smoked the whole thing. Like, it was literally, like, this much left. Half of a roach. Like, I remember just relighting it, re-smoking it, like, I smoked the entire fucking blunt, right? So now, I was in the living room. And all I remember was, it's not funny. All I remember was me just like, I had to use the bathroom. That's what it was, I had to use the bathroom. So I remember just going to the bathroom. But I, when I went to the bathroom, I used the bathroom. And when I got up and I went to wash my hands, like I remember like turning the knob and like putting my, my hands under the water, but like I couldn't, like I couldn't feel the water. And then I just remember like kind of like turn, like it just, it felt like I was just repeating, repe repeating, 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 repeating. Eating, like turning the knob and repeating it it just felt so fucking weird and I remember just hearing like hearing my chest like everything just sound like so amplified and like I was just like oh my gosh so I was mad fucking nervous my uncle and his girlfriend at the time was staying at my grandma's house so I busted his room and I remember just like jumping on the bed like boom so him and his girl, they both, they like, yo, yo, what the fuck? Like, what you doing? What's, like, what's up? Whatever. So I'm just like, no, like, help me. <laughs> I'm just like, help me. I'm like, help me. <laughs> it's not funny. I could laugh now, but I was so fucking, like, scared. Like, I was just like, help me. Like, I hope I can't help you. Know? So a part of them thought that I was playing. Because you know, like I'm a joke and stuff like that, so they thought I was playing. But then when she kind of saw me, like, like look like nervous, she was like, "Oh, babe, like I think he's serious." So he was like, "Yo, you, are you good or whatever?" I'm just like, "No, like I can't, like I smoked." And then I remember just being like mad scared, and I was, mind you, my fucking big ass was literally on. Like she had to hold me in, in like baby position. Like I really was like on her lap, and she was like trying to like rock me and shit, yo. I was so high. I was so high. I remember me just being so paranoid, like so fucking scared. Um, I thought the world was ending. It was just weird. Like I couldn't film like my body was just numb. I, I hated, I hated the feeling. I hated it, hated it, hated it, okay? So after that, I remember me literally getting in between them in bed like literally like i literally slept in between my uncle and his girlfriend like a little fucking kid in bed because i was so scared and like yo it was a lot it was crazy and you know at the time i kind of was telling them like you know like, like i'm okay i'm okay because i didn't want to get in trouble that's how i know i think i was like 16 because i didn't want to that that was one in the back of my mind like, i didn't want to get in trouble 
But that shit there was like so fucking nerve wracking and everything. I'm not that person. I cannot smoke at all. Like I'm not a smoker. I can smoke hookah. Like hookah doesn't do anything with a hookah is cool. You know, I do drink occasionally, but like smoking, I cannot do that. That was my very first time. I remember just very briefly, the second time I did it, it was probably was like maybe a few months after that incident like had went by and I just thought maybe it was just because I smoked too much the first time remember because like I said I smoked the whole clip I was like okay maybe if I just do a little bit or whatever it'll be you know okay bitch the second time I did it I remember I was with the trade or whatever on my blog it was like a big like little cookout or whatever and you know I'm the girl I'm popular so you know I was hanging with you know my tradie bros and shit like that and at the time they was you know buying weed or whatever so my bro was asking like you know like yo yo how much you got you know how much you put in or whatever and I remember I was like oh I got I got 10 and he looked at me like what nigga you don't smoke uh, I'm like yeah I, I do like I said so I was there. I, you know I did it before the, the gas in line or whatever yo I remember me they, you know, they, we passing it around, we outside, we smoking, I'm puffing, puffing, uh, <laughs> Yo, I, I remember we went to McDonald's, like, McDonald's was probably, like, three or four blocks away. We walked to McDonald's, I was fine. Order food, get out of McDonald's, and walk back to the cookout. When I tell you, when we got up, like, from the block, from walking from McDonald's, it was like something hit, like it hit me. It was like, whoo. And I just felt like, so just like, that same feeling like just numb and just like, just like my, my, my chest is paranoid. I, I hated it. That was the second time I did it. And after that, I just don't do it no more. Like I just, it's not for me. I, I, I feel like, you know, certain stuff is for everybody. The weed smoke is just not for me. I'm just that paranoid bitch that everybody talks about when they make, you know, weed references videos. That's me. I just can't do it. I hate it. Ugh, it's mm -mm, not for me. I'm sorry. Give me a little do thing with a little hypnotic or whatever, you know, a little hookah, and I'm I'm on the money. But um, yeah, I'm, I just I cannot do it. I'm the worst when it comes to that. So yeah. Anyway, that's my story time. I know it wasn't like crazy, like, you know, deep and dramatic and all of that shit, but that's what I have for you guys today. If you guys wanna see more story times, let me know down below. But let me know if I'm the only person that that's happened to. Um, I feel like I am, I'm the only one, I don't know. Let me know your stories. Are you a weed smoker? Do you like weed? Is that your drug of choice? What's your drug of choice? But stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, you know, holla at your favorite girl, boy. Boy, girl. Girl, wants the, wants the bread. Yeah. Such a... <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>